And the National Weather Service has boots on the ground right now in Orange County conducting a storm survey. They're collecting data to learn more about the storm, storm confirming tonight that there was at least one tornado that did touch down. Our 12 News reporter Amelia White joins us live. Yeah, and Amelia spoke with the National Weather Service, but first she's going to tell us and show us some of the damage that will help them understand more about today's storm. Jordan Dej, this is the aftermath of this morning's tornado. I'm at a home here in Orange and I want to walk you through some of the damages. A car was completely flipped on his side. Trees are down. The roof was lifted and torn off and the garage is caved in. Now we can confirm there were no reports of injuries at this home, but for our viewers tuned in, we know you guys have some questions. Did a tornado in fact touch down and how strong was it? Roger Erskine with the National Weather Service confirms to 12 News that yes, a tornado ripped through this this part of Orange County, he says it was an EF2 tornado bringing in winds of 120 miles per hour. He says you can't compare that to a category three hurricane in terms of damage potential. Erskine says it varies how long these tornadoes could last. They can last anywhere from a minute to, you know, the long ones can be on the ground for an hour. Uh, very rare, almost never see a, an hour long tornado down here, but the most common time frame is like two to five minutes. Erskine says cold fronts can usually help create conditions for severe weather like damaging winds, tornadoes, and even large hail. Now Erskine and his team are still out surveying the area, just getting a look at the damages left behind from this morning's tornado. We should have a full report from them tomorrow. I'm live in Orange, Amelia White, 12 News.